Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the uh, hosting panel in the Hostinger uh, platform. And so uh, in previous videos, you've seen me create a agency website on WordPress, which you can see here. Uh, and so we're just going to look at the back panel here of how you can actually, you know, manage your website. So not so much WordPress, but actually, you know, the hosting account, uh, you know, the, that's holding all of your WordPress application and, and all those assets and images and all that. And so back here, you can see where you can you know, actually see the real, uh, I guess, su subdomain or the temporary website where, where your, your site is at. Um, you can upgrade your account. Again, this is your hosting account. And then you can access the admin panel for your WordPress uh, site here. Here you can see, uh, you know, the, the active package that you're using. Um, here you can connect your domain name. So you either if you have a domain name at another uh, hosting account or registrar, you can connect that domain or you can search for domains right here within, um, you know, the hosting or uh, control panel. Uh, again, I don't have email active on here, but you can manage email where you set it up here. And then daily backups, which is a really important thing. So. Uh, here you can create uh, an ability to you know, do daily backups on your, your WordPress website, and then you can restore. Super handy feature you don't get in a lot of places. Very handy if you get hacked or something bad happens or you install a plugin that crashes. You've got backups here where you can uh, you know, restore, save, uh, generate new backups. You know, right here, you know, quickly, boom, hit a new backup and that added here. And then you can always, you go make changes on your site. And then if things don't go well, you can always restore that uh, website. So very cool feature there. Um, again, going back to the dashboard here, you can see your file manager. So this gives you an insight into, you know, the actual files on the server. So th this will redirect you to a, a file browser that allows you to do this. And from here, again, fairly simple, uh, browser-based file access. Here you're able to edit, look at info, rename. So really handy for developers or people that really need access to the file server. So that, again, good jumping off point directly from uh, the dashboard. You can also look at the databases. So again, because we've got WordPress installed on here, you can see uh, you know those WordPress databases down here to help with that. So again, if you, again, a bit more technical, you can actually jump into PHP MyAdmin, which is a full-on database uh, uh, GUI, I guess, or a UI that allows you to really get into the database, um, you know, into the tables and everything. So again, for those that are technical, you can go deep, deep and really get to the, the level access that you need to do the technical piece you need. Um, Going back to the dashboard, so that's our database. You can always check out a WordPress overview. This is really cool because it kind of shows you what you know is going on in your whole platform. You can also invoke maintenance mode. So if you're doing some development and you're making you know major design changes, maybe this is a great way to just um, you know lock, close your site down so that people can just see a maintenance mode. They don't kind of navigate and see you making all the changes. So again, you can do that from here. There's also plugins you can get. Uh, for WordPress to do the same thing, which would be in your dashboard, in your admin panel. But again, just depends on how you want to do that. Uh, so again, some core things, your light speed, uh, performance settings, uh, caching. Again, you can flush the cache from here if you're having issues with something. And then WordPress updates. Uh, you can have just uh, some schedules on how you often you want to update. Um, some other plugins here uh, and install another WordPress. Again, you can go back. So your daily backups here, PHP version, and then the WordPress version. And it shows you if you're running the latest version. So that, again, helps you stay up to date. A um, bunch of pieces on security uh, on your WordPress. Again, it's going to check, make sure you're up to date, uh, and, and really just kind of look at all your uh, installed themes, installed plugins. Again, everything's looking safe. Great tools to really keep your website up and running. And then there's a, an AI troubleshooter that's, you know, basically combing through your whole WordPress site, looking for issues and errors to bring them to your attention. Huge, powerful, powerful, powerful tools there. Um, so, yeah, if you look at your hosting section here in the navigation, you can see your plan details. So, again, how much space you have, the server, um, hosting names, all that kind of stuff, your IP address, even FTP access 
um, to that uh, site. Um, you can get into resource usages if you really want to know how much you know it's handling. When your site gets bigger, these things become very important. Uh, more sites you have on here. Great tools for agencies and and you know designers who really are using this to you know sell to other clients. So really provide some great administration tools. Um, getting into performance, so you got some tools here where you can test your page speed. Um, you know, some, just some great analysis tools to help you, you know, troubleshoot your website, make sure it's really top notch performing well. There's some analytics on here as well. So this is a fairly new website, so we're not going to see a lot, but it looks like we've already got some traffic, uh, you know, from some places. So, uh, again, some basic statistics. And yeah, and so we looked at security, emails and domains. If you want to add your domains, you can do that in here as well, where you set the main domain for this particular uh, website. Uh, again, going back to the emails, we don't have email accounts, but here's where you can set up email accounts. Fairly simple service, $1.50, you get really secure email on your domain. So again, if you want, you know, you know username at company.com, then this is the way to go about doing that. Very easy to set up. So going back to our uh, dashboard here. So our business web hosting, we've got a whole bunch here. So we're going to go back into the dashboard. And again, we can see some highlights here. And that pretty much covers most of it. Like we said, we looked at the databases where you can dive in there. And then there's a whole bunch of advanced features that, again, if you're a developer and a hostmaster that really wants to get into some details like cron jobs and PHP configuration, that's all down here, uh, you know, very powerful. So that's the dashboard. Again, if you ever want to create new sites, you can go on the side here, add new website and gets you going and, and you can go from there. Again, always the option to upgrade here where you want to go to a larger plan, something that has more uh, capability, you can jump right in and you know purchase that directly here. So very simple, very easy to use and a really great hosting platform for not just you know experienced developers, but also for you know business owners that have a little bit of technical savvy. This really walks you through lots of guides, lots of great help, support, and uh, just an all-around great platform. So thanks for watching. If you have any more questions about this, leave them in the comments below. You can get an account for a hostinger uh, down below with 20% off if you use my referral link. Please like this video if you got value out of it. Um, you know, share it with your network, and of course, subscribe to the channel. We're always producing content that you can use to grow your business. So thanks. I hope this helped, and we'll see you in the next video.